I participated in the 2023 North American International Championships with one goal, to make Top Cut. For all of you unfamiliar with the way Pokemon tournaments work, I'll give you a quick rundown. In Pokemon, we use a tournament structure called Swiss. The way it works is you play people with your same record, using a system called Resistance to tiebreak. In order to make Top Cut and continue to the next phase of the tournament, you need a record of 5-1 or 4-2. 5-1 guarantees it, but 4-2 is still possible. Our story begins at the Hartford Regional Championship, my worst performance of all. I ended up going 2-3 in the event. I was upset, but I knew I had to have my sights set higher. NAIC. I had one thought after the tournament. Talon Tusk. Once I got home, I started building. Townflame, Great Tusk, Iron Bundle, Chi Yu, Amoongus, and Fluttermane. After playing a couple games on Shutdown, I knew this team wasn't for me. It felt hard to position, leaning towards Fluttermane and Chi Yu or Talonflame and Great Tusk, with no balance in between. After lots of experimental teams, I was crushed. NAIC was in a month and a half, and I had no team, no preparation, and no idea how I was going to do. Until suddenly, it hit me. Talonflame and Great Tusk felt too weak to carry a team, but what is stronger than Great Tusk? Dragonite and Shin Pao. After giving up on balance, I knew this is the way to go. I threw together a team of Dragonite, Shin Pao, Talonflame, Great Tusk, Garchomp, and Goldengo. After some more games, I knew it had potential, but it didn't feel right. I still felt the pressure of the two modes. I couldn't have both. I needed to pick one. Then, in my time of need, my friend Kylan told me about a team. The team that won Hartford, Chiliang Tang's Dragonite Shin Pao team. It was the perfect fit. After I gave the Pokemon EVs that are definitely not what Chiliang used, I was ready to test. This team was exactly what I was looking for. Hundreds of games went by, and I started to see cracks in the team. All it took was a really good turn for my opponent and my team folded. I needed to stop this from happening, but how? After brainstorming, I couldn't come up with anything. I just needed to live with it. Weeks pass, and I've still been grinding this team. Limitless tournaments, showdowns, and Scarlet and Violet Ladder, but I still can't reach that top level. I was coming close, but not close enough. I wasn't winning tournaments. I knew that the best of the best would be at NAIC, but each game I play I lose more confidence. After a few practice sets against my friend Josh, I knew this team wasn't going to cut it. One week before NAIC, I had made my decision. I wasn't going to bring this team. All of my preparation was for nothing, but I didn't have confidence in this team. I asked my friend Chris for a good talent chomp team, and he gave me James Evans' team. Talonflame, Iron Bundle, Garchomp, Iron Hand, Shen Pao, and Goldengo. This team felt good, but I wasn't good with it. NIC was in a week, I had no preparation, no team in game, and no way to get good enough with this team to guarantee cut. In other words, I was screwed. I could have gone back and used my Dragon and Shen Bao team, but it felt clunky, and I knew I wouldn't win with it. After grinding the James Evans team, I knew that I still wasn't at the level I needed to be at. A team by the name of Jesse Dozo, made by a Canadian player, came to mind. After getting the team in game and testing it, I knew this was my best chance. This was it. This was the team I was going to use for the North American International Championships. I got it in game and locked it in. There was no turning back. It hurt to abandon the James Evans team after so much practice, but I knew this is the way I was going to win. Pairings are posted, and the tournament begins. I'm paired with Owen Murphy, and after looking at the team sheet, my heart sinks. In my online tournament grind, I had played him before, and I won. The problem is, I had the matchup advantage. Not anymore. Goldengo, Great Tusk, Fluttermane, Gyarados, Amoongus, and Murkrow. This is the worst matchup I had ever seen while using this team. I was used to one, maybe two Pokemon countering my Dundozo. This team had three. Amoongus could reset my stat boosts, Murkrow could reset my stat boosts, and I had no way of dealing with Gyarados. I knew that I had to play out of my mind. That wretched Murkrow had to die, and quickly. As soon as the game started, I noticed something. Booster energy didn't activate on Great Tusk. That was odd, because the team sheet it says booster energy, I triple checked. Oh well, I must have missed it. I played perfectly in turn 1, doing exactly what I should have. Great Tusk uses Rock Slide, and the worst possible words show up on my screen. Xian Pao flinched. This had to be some kind of joke. I would have won the game if I didn't flinch. After Hayes clears their stat boosts, Dondozo is able to take out Murkrow. Dondozo goes down, and that leaves Tatsugiri and Goldengo. Unfortunately, my Tatsugiri has the Choice Scarf item, meaning I can't protect. Since Tailwind's up, Tatsugiri goes down, and I lose the game. It's alright. I can still win this. Game 2 went similar, but instead of Aqua Jet Sucker Punch killing his Fluttermane, I go for the Great Tusk, expecting Flutter to switch out, but it doesn't. Great Tusk outspeeds my Shin Pao and hits Rock Slide, while Flutter hits Dazzlingly, KOing both of my Pokemon. Dondozo had no way of winning, losing me the first set of the day. I'm crushed. If only I had brought my other team. It's alright. It happens. All I need to do is win the rest of my games, but something fell off. How did Great Tusk outspeed my Shin Pao? Sure, I was adamant, but still. Great Tusk don't normally invest too heavily in speed, and why would you go booster speed on Tusk when Choice Scarf is an option? So I asked. After I finished my sentence, his eyes widened. I gave him his team sheet and we both had realized what happened. There was a team sheet error. We called the judge and explained the situation, and he decided that game 2 was a game loss for Owen, meaning I was still in it. Unfortunately for me, it didn't matter. I lost game 3, still losing the set. If I hadn't flinched, I would have won. I thought I had made the wrong play game 1, but I didn't. 
If I lose another one, it's over. Round 2, I play Ryder. Luckily for me, I have the matchup advantage. Glamora, Garganical, Wochian, Amoongus, Tinglu, and Knacklestack? What does Knacklestack do? Either way, this is stall, but I got Dondozo. After annihilating Garganical and Knacklestack with Dragonite Shenpao, I finished Tinglu and Glamora with Dondozo and Tatsugiri. Game 2 goes the same way, meaning that I won the set. 1-1. One, one. I feel good after that win. I know my team isn't bad, and that I can still cut if played correctly. Game 3, I am paired with Vitor, a name I don't recognize. Fluttermane, Chiyu, Dragonite, Shenpao, Mimikyu, and Torkoal. Game 1, I overpredict and lose, but after centering myself, I win Game 2 and Game 3 without any hiccups. Great, I'm 2-1. But you know who else is 2-1? Kylan. I can't play him no matter what, so you can imagine the shock on my face when I checked the pairings, Round 4 versus Kylan. It was doomed. I had practiced with him before the tournament. My record? 0-3. Palafin, Amoongus, Arcanine, Roaring Moon, Fluttermane, and Tinglu. This game wasn't even close. I lost badly. He knew how to play the matchup and I didn't. The good news is that Kylan had the opportunity to go 5-1, carrying my resistance and allowing both of us to cut. All I needed to do was win the rest of my games. Assuming I won all of my games, I guaranteed top 16, but in order to get top 8, I needed a good resistance. Resistance is calculated by your opponent's win percentage, so when you are in the fight for resistance, there is one thing you don't want. A down pair. So to my horror, I am playing a player named Mitchell, who is 1-3. I got down paired. This could not have gone worse. Even if I won, my resistance would be horrible. Kylan and Owen needed to win all of their games for me even to have a chance to cut. My fate was in their hands. After winning round 4, I walk over to Kylan and ask him how he did. He lost. I ask Owen how he did. He won. It was doomed. Even if both of them win their next game, I still wouldn't cut. I needed a miracle. Round 6 was more of the same. I won off a good matchup, and that left me 4-2. A major comeback from 0-1. I rush over to see the standings and... I didn't cut. This is my last chance in seniors to win an event, but I didn't even cut. I have one more tournament in this age division, the World Championships. I need to prepare hard and I need to make top 8. 